Guy, this first tractor is a 390T. Just no ordinary 390T, but it's no, not, is it? No, no. You've knew this one for a few years. This wee tractor here belonged to uh, an uncle of mine, Uncle Tommy. Uncle Tommy passed away just still health and a few years ago and a, a, another cousin of mine I got the chance at that time, it was a good few years ago, he bought her and he restored her. Johnny Blakely restored her, mm. or, or, or the main man restored her. And I used to drive this tractor when I was a kid. And back in that day, it was a Johnson Sailies trailer I had on behind it. A Johnson Sailies trailer that the door turned out round and she became a cattle trailer. They were, they were absolutely very, very famous. Cool. So our own William Johnson from Johnson, it says here, this is what I'm trying to recreate. And what trailer did I manage to get for the 390T? The eight and a half ton Johnson. This is what I was carting silage in when I was 19 and 20. This very tractor and that very size of a trailer. And I thought I had an outfit. No hydraulic brakes in the back of her. Plugged into the spill valve whenever you needed them. But you know what I'm going to tell you? Old school was the right school. But anyway, that's a very, very, very special tractor. And since we went down this route of getting the 390T, the next tractor is really my choice as well. Yep. I can't lie about this. <laughs> <laughs> I got a wee bit carried away and the nostalgia set in and this is the reason we had the new doubts in the terror. This is what a trap to Hunter Keynes does. <laughs> <laughs> Here. What is this? This is <sighs> practically the first tractor I would have sailed with my daddy in. My daddy would have worked to my uncles, he would have worked to my uncle Tommy and Tommy's brother, Robbie. And Robbie had doubts. You know, you just go in somewhere and you've no intention, you just see it and you have to have it. Well, that's one of them I had to have it. <laughs> and she's here. And can I tell you better than that? She's not going back. 40k. Six speed, all manual, all manual, manual, manual. Sort of brakes is on her guard. Either week. Operator comfort is phenomenal. Air conditioning and all works on her. I'll show you. Operator comfort, where's oh, that? Do I see the air conditioning? This is old school. Look. <laughs> there it is there. <laughs> There's the air conditioning. Eh, many days have you seen that on a tractor? Oh my God. There's your air conditioning. No. I do like that, to be fair. That's... Well, here, we brought this wee tractor here. We hooked it onto an oversized trailer. Now, what tractor on the day punched well above its weight? I'll give her that, man. I'll give her that. She wouldn't be for me, but, like, I can grab it. Definitely. Fint of their time. All mechanical, but guy, there's nothing to go I wrong. I know why, there's little to go wrong. It's simple old thing like. Great wee tractor. So, folks, I know lately we have been trying to uh, sort of explain to you with some of our videos, you know, as to why we've chosen certain machines, mowers, harvesters, etc. Um, and just this little video was a wee personal insight to a little bit of where I come from. A lot of people think I'm mad. John Deere fan, which I am, you know, not going to lie, but um, this type of tractor was the first that I did get up in beside the old boy, and uh, true to my word that I said back then in the DVD, um, we have kept her, we have took her, we've uh, done a little bit of work to her, we've got her sitting there in the nice shoes, and hopefully someday um, I'll be able to maybe pass this on uh, to my young boy, and and keep that dream alive, I hope. Uh, the 390T is a slightly difficult one. My cousin just won't part with it, and uh, I'm working hard. Maybe someday we'll, we'll, we'll get it here in the stable. We're very lucky, I'm very lucky, and to be in a position to work with such a great company that we can actually do this and, 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 and relive some of our youth back and forward. Um, and that's sort of what I wanted to say. If there's a, a picture out there of a tractor that if you could bring back um, all them years later, a picture of one of the first tractors you drove or if you have the fond memory. And uh, just to start it off, here is a picture of the first tractor I learned to drive solo. I won't say what age it was, that would maybe not be. And it's still to this day, 
in active duty doing exactly what you see in this picture. So come on folks, get tagging and get the pictures in.